Welcome back to this tutorial series we're doing for creating a full game, a mixed reality game, from start to finish. And here we are on the very last session of this series. I appreciate you sticking around for all 13 of these sessions and um, going from start to finish here. What we're going to be doing today is taking what we have and actually deploying it uh, to a device. When I get to the stage, what I'll typically do is make sure I have all my latest stuff, you know, in, in source control, so in Git, and uh, which I've already done that. And now I'm going to actually open up in the latest version of Unity. So this is Unity 2017.3 uh, OF3. And it was released uh, towards the end of December. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, select the game and let it open. And it's letting me know that the last time I opened this project, it was in my 2017.2.of3 MRTP3, uh, which I believe that ended up going up to four or five. Uh, but we just stayed in the same editor during this entire development process. Uh, but now I want to go through the steps of actually utilizing uh, the latest Unity editor. Uh, so I'm going to hit continue and let it upgrade. All right, so once I upgrade some of my scripts, that's fine. I said I'll make a backup. Go ahead, because like I said, I have it in source control. All right, after several progress bars later, here we are. The app has fully loaded inside of Unity. We have some warnings in our window, and this is just because of the version of the Hall Toolkit uh, that we're using. A lot of times I'll actually go through and update uh, my version of the MRTK. So I'll just go in here and actually delete all my um, MRTK stuff, the Mixed Reality Toolkit, and bring in the latest version. But I know that the latest version uh, that was out there at the time of this recording, here we are uh, towards the end of January, there were certain things that weren't playing nicely uh, with 2017.3. In particular, some stuff around spatial mapping with a hall lens. And while we're not using spatial mapping uh, with this, and this is more of an immersive headset uh, type of experience, I'm still just going to utilize the same version of the toolkit that we did at the very beginning. So I'm not updating any of that. So let's just see if we ran into any issues. So I'm going to hit play here and uh, make sure that the game still works the way we expect it to by upgrading our Unity editor. All right, so things are looking okay. We got our sounds working, particle systems working, and of course the shuffling with the sound effects working as well. And uh, the score and high score is also working. There's our second X, second strike, and third strike. And our score should get reset to zero when it's ready. Yep, perfect. So everything appears to be working. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And you might want to come in here and actually make a nice environment for this table to exist in, have a totally different table and everything else. So as you're doing this, if you if you took the time to create a nice items and a nice table and things of that nature, you might want to go and take the time to you know just create an environment uh, that this is sitting in. Now, when I was debugging this in Unity, I had my play area set to negative two, so I could just kind of, you know, look down and see the table down here. But really, what I want to have when I go deploy this is a 0.5, and so I'm going to set it as 0.5 for now, and uh, we're going to save the scene, save the project, and now let's go into our build settings. Now, we'll say over here in player settings, we do want to make sure that our XR settings is checked. I had this disabled, uh, so I wouldn't, so I can just be able to use it with Unity and not actually run it in the headset itself. But now I'm ready to deploy. I want to make sure uh, that that virtual reality is set. All right. So now let me go ahead and build this. I'm gonna make a new folder here called UWP and build it into that folder. And again, what it's building here is a Visual Studio solution that will create a Windows Store app. So that's what's getting built. All right, so the solution has been built here in the UWP folder. 
I can uh, go into that folder and actually open up the shell game uh, tutorial solution. All right, so Visual Studio has loaded, and you know you're using the right version when you actually see like ARM and device and things of that nature. And in fact, uh, we can change this ARM uh, to x64. Uh, since my local machine is a 64-bit machine, if I was running this on the hall lens, I would want to select uh, x86. And if I was running this on the hall lens, you know, like the emulator or just to my device itself, again, I want to make sure that's x86. But since I'm doing it strictly for the immersive headsets, and I just want to go to my uh, local machine here, so I'm going to hit a Build and Deploy Solution. Alright, so it's been deployed to my local machine. The next thing I want to do is actually bring up the Windows Mixed Reality Portal. Alright, so here I'm in the uh, Mixed Reality Portal. I'm going to hit the Windows key and select the uh, Shell Game Tutorial that we just made here. Get our splash screen. All right, and here we are. And nice sounds are working. Got my first strike. Nice programmer particle effects. <laughs> no, you can definitely do a much better job of your particle effects. Cool, got score, high score is working. And second strike. So everything is working and it's actually deployed to the machine which our headsets can now run. Excellent. And our score got reset to zero when we started a new game and our high score is there. All right, so now something I'm going to do, I'm going to go back over here to Unity. And I'm going to change my target device to Hall Lens. I'm going to hit Build. And instead of just calling this one UWP, I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to just call it uh, HL for Hall Lens. All right, so I'm going to go into uh, here and actually open up this solution so I can deploy this to the hall lens. Alright, so Visual Studio is loaded. I'm going to change it from ARM to x86 since I'm going to do the hall lens device. I could do device and hook it up to the USB. For now, I'm going to hit remote machine. And I know my IP address is 192.168.1.19. So I'm going to select that. Before I actually deploy to the remote machine, I didn't make a change here. Now I talk about this a lot in my membership over at learnhollands.com. Uh, so if you're interested in doing a deep dive into uh, mixed reality development, and in particular on the Hollands, then by all means uh, check that out. Uh, but right now I'm just going to uh, edit the code of this package app manifest. And I'm going to change this from universal to holographic. And change this to the correct SDK version number, which is a TN586. So we'll save that. And now I'm going to hit uh, deploy and let it actually deploy to the Hall lens itself. All right, so that's been deployed to the Hall lens. All right, and so here it is loaded on the Hall lens. And no good, no good. Yay. And so by using the Mixed Reality Toolkit, we're able to write a single app and have it run both on the hall lens and on the immersive headsets. There's our second strike. And 
and our third strike. And once this is done animating, our score will go back to zero. Our high score is persisted. Awesome. Well, that's going to wrap up not just this session, but the entire series where we have created a mixed reality game from scratch, from start to finish. From the idea of a shell game of, you know, finding the P to actually deploying it, not just on the immersive headsets, but even on the HoloLens itself. So if you've enjoyed this session and the series, uh, then by all means, hit that like button. Let me know. If you didn't like it, hit that dislike button. That'll be fine too. And if you did enjoy the content and you want to see more of it, by all means, hit that subscribe button. I do have something special coming next week. Uh, so next week's uh, video, make sure you are subscribed to see that. And I'll just leave it at that. So next uh, next Wednesday, uh, you'll, you'll see that. I will say that if you want to learn more about uh, mixed reality, about the HoloLens, about this type of uh, mixed reality development, uh, then head over to either learnmixreality.com or learnhollands.com and uh, sign up on the waiting list. Or if the doors happen to be open, then go ahead and jump into the uh, into the membership there. But I hope, truly hope, uh, this has been beneficial. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic week. And I'll see you in the next video.